let's start our review we will be starting off with the descriptive statistics in particular the mean median and mode these are this measure of central tendencies mean is simply the average we will just consider the arithmetic mean median is the middle value and mode is the value that occurs most in the data let's apply these concepts by answering our first exercises the problem reads the ages of 15 randomly selected customers at a local buy store are listed below we have 23 21 29 and so on so for us to handle the data easily it's better to arrange them in an array the arrangement i made here is from lowest to highest now how can we determine the mean we will use this formula mean is represented by x with a bar so mean is equal to the sum of all the scores divided by the number of cases so simply add all the ages from 19 all the way to 33 and divide it by 15 since the data were derived from 15 customers so when i added all the ages i got 382 divided by 15 the result is 25.47 so the mean is 25.47 now let's locate the median we will use this formula it's n plus 1 divided by 2 so 15 plus 1 divided by 2 so it's 16 divided by 2 the result is 8 so our median is the 8th value in the array you simply count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 therefore our median is 24 now in case that n is even number simply get the average of the two middle numbers now for the mode the value that occurs most in the data by inspection 24 is the age that occurs most it occurred three times one two three so our mode is 24 21 and 23 both appeared twice now let's proceed to the statistics that can describe variations or differences in the data we will include the highest and lowest values as well as the standard deviation standard deviation is a measure that summarizes the amount by which every value within a data set varies from the mean it means that if the standard deviation is small the less the data is dispersed let's consider our first exercises this time we will place our data on this table the first column is labeled as score so i will simply place the ages the 19 all the way down to 33 so the lowest value is 19 and the highest value is 33 the second column is labeled as x minus mean recall that the mean is 25.47 so the first entry for this column would be 19 the value of x minus the mean which is 25.47 so the result is negative 6.47 so that will be our first entry in column 2 column 3 is labeled as x minus mean squared so it's simply the square of the values of on the second column 
So, for our first entry, simply square the negative 6.47 or it's negative 6.47 times negative 6.47. The result is 41.68. So, 41.68 is our first entry in column 3. That's how we complete our table. Then, add all the numbers in the last column. The result corresponds to the sum of the x minus mean squared. So, we can now solve for the standard deviation. The equation reads, standard deviation is equal to the square root of the quantity summation of x minus mean squared divided by n minus 1. So, by substitution, we have standard deviation is equal to square root of the quantity 305.73 divided by 15 minus 1. And the result is 4.67. Therefore, the standard deviation is 4.67. Now, usually, the calculations are placed in the appendix. Now, the question is, how can we present the results? We can present the result this way. So, by means of or uh, using a table. The title I placed here is the summary of the descriptive statistics of the ages of selected customers at the local buy store. So, I have here the N, which is the number of customers, the mean, 25.47, median, 24, mode, 24, the lowest is 19, the highest is 33, and the standard deviation is 4.67. That's all for our descriptive statistics. So, I'll be sending you now your first seat work.